Welcome back, it's Brian, JetMonster.com and today I've just come on to give you a quick overview of the new music import function we've implemented. Um, we're removing the old one and I guess if you've used the old music import uh, feature you'll probably understand why um, we're removing it and replacing it. Basically it was a bit cumbersome um, I suppose people like myself who know how it works found it easy enough yet it was still time consuming because it involved shenanigans such as formatting the drive and putting specific music folders where you want them to go and then going back to the machine and updating that way and it's a bit of a fiddle to be honest so after reviewing it I've decided that we're going to change that a little bit so we had to decide <clears throat> we had to decide um, how the new feature would work because as you probably know video box is more of an album stroke track player than it is just a track player so importing albums is not particularly easy because video box doesn't know where to put them basically so I've had, I've had my thinking cap on and I've come up with a, what I think is a cute idea <clears throat> and I got the inspiration from the now uh, albums I'll just show you what, what I mean if I click on here and show you all the now albums what the now albums idea is as new music comes out they bring out a new album and it's just got a number now 58 now 60 now 61 and so on and it goes up and I, I think the now albums are at 105 or something like that but I was looking at this and I thought why don't we have a dedicated category um, of not now albums but new new music so that when when we do a music import we have an album created that says new one new two new three so on and so on and as new tracks are imported the newest go to the front here and the older ones get pushed back and pushed back and pushed back until eventually we could purge those we could purge the old ones so that was my idea and so without further ado I'll show you how the new system works uh, and I'll do a music import now so I've got um, a USB thumb drive attached to the computer and I'll just show you that that's this one USB Y here and let's just have a look on it and so if you remember with the old feature you had loads of folders in here and you had to decide where to put things and all sorts of malarkey like that but what I've decided to do is just make it so that you can just put free tracks just just drag and drop tracks onto the USB stick it doesn't matter they don't have to be arranged in any particular way they can be inside a folder or they can be loose like these um, and it's as simple as that to make an update drive now so that's the USB stick with some tracks on it and I'm going to import those into video box now so I'll just show you how that works I'm going to I'm going to unplug that USB drive now and then I'm going to plug it back in and you'll notice when I plug it back in the update will start automatically so here we go let's plug it in it's plugged in and there it goes and there you go you can see on screen now the import uh, dialog and that will just import all the tracks and there it's done and now it's updated it's updated the categories and if we have a look at the categories now you can see the new tracks category right there 
So that's our new categories created next to the now albums. So let's have a look in new. And there's our import, our very first one, new zero one. So that's the, the, new, the latest tracks. So let's click on that and have a look. These are the latest tracks I've imported in the new tracks category. Now this category is created automatically for you when you do your very first import. And you saw how easy it was, just put some tracks on a USB stick and put it in and it starts automatically and it'll make these albums for you. So you might be wondering, I mean let's look in the in the uh, first update and there's three, six, nine, ten. 10 tracks in there so you might be thinking to yourself well what happens if I've got if I want to import a lot more tracks than that in one go let's say you only visit your jukebox once a month and you want to put 30 tracks on it well I'll make a new, uh, new update USB stick and I'll show you what happens with that so now I've got um, a lot more tracks on my USB stick. Um, I've got 48 tracks uh, on there now. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to in install that update now. So I'm unplugging the um, USB stick. And we're going to plug it back in and we're going to see what video box does with the tracks. So I'm plugging in now. And you should see the dialogue any minute. There it is. So it's going to import all those tracks. And while it's doing that, I'll tell you what it does. You can set in the control panel how many tracks you want in each album. You can set a limit. When it reaches that limit, it'll start a new album and start stacking tracks in there. So it's quite smart, it'll generate new albums as it goes along. And you'll see any minute now, and we'll just refresh. And there you go, it's created new updates all in order. Um, from one, two, three, four. And as you go along, as you add more updates, week by week or month by month, they'll stack up in here. And so your customers or you will know where to go to get the latest tracks. Just like that. Let's have a look in there. There you go, you've got some more tracks in there. You could, like I said, you can set a limit for these, uh, how many tracks you want in here. And that's in the control panel. Also, just a quick word of warning. Um, these, uh, as you add... Uh, updates obviously these will stack up and stack up and get it'll get longer and longer and longer and longer um, at some point you, you're going to want to delete the older ones so in the control panel let's just open it and I'll show you uh, where is that that is import op options purging purge all imports and number of imports to keep so the number of imports the latest imports you want to keep I've set at 20 as a default so after it, when it gets to 21 it'll purge now when we say purge it doesn't hide the music import it actually really deletes it from your computer it deletes the files so this is off by default and it's up to you to turn that on if you want to so let's go back and have a look so you've got all these uh, latest new imports here and as they go along as they go along and they stack up back here once it gets to 21 the last one which would be this the oldest one zero or one would get deleted <clears throat> that one that would be deleted and as I've said remember that it does delete it from your computer it doesn't hide it so that's just a word of caution there um, the name of the new category can be changed in the control panel 
uh, you can change that name but you should change it before you start importing tracks or you'll end up with tracks all over the place so make sure you put that name to what you want it could be latest tracks or just latest new or just new it could be anything you want um, so that's the new concept guys you have a folder a bit like the now albums we have new albums <laughs> and this uh, and they, they they stack up in here and your customers or yourself will know where to go to find them uh, I hope you like it guys uh, let us know what you think in the comments thanks very much for watching